Now join me now live in our studio to do some analysis of some of the top business stories we're filing for you at this time from our newsroom. It's Charles Frakuga, iBrand Senior Analyst and Stockbroker. Charles, good morning. Always a pleasure having you join me on the program. Yeah, morning, blessed. It's nice to be on the show today. It was your birthday over the weekend, and I hope it's still safe to say happy belated birthday to you. I don't know how, <laughs> how, how, how many figure you've, you've added, okay, okay, in the past one year, but I will say the, whatever the figure is, you definitely don't look it because you look younger on a daily basis. Well, we give God the glory. All right, yeah. then. Let's get to business now. Charles, yeah. looking at all the stories, um, we'll start off now with this big one where the Central Bank of Nigeria is talking about the recapitalization of the financial services sector. And I can recall that um, in the course of our conversation, um, I think either this month or sometime last month, we also did make mention about the recapitalization of the of uh, of 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 this of the Nigerian banking sector. Yeah. With what we're saying now, what impact do you? First off, I'm going to ask of your reaction, and then again, I'll stretch it further by asking what impact this will have on the Nigerian financial sector. Because the report we are having here shows that the 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 foreign subsidiaries of um of of some of the the, the big the commercial banks, banks yeah. yeah, the tier ones are a bit um, um are projected at 9.6 trillion naira. If, if you have to put it in current um, exchange rate vo um, 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 rate, yeah. what do you have to say concerning all of this? And then what impact, significant impact per se, will this have on the financial sector? Well, thank you very much, Ambassador. Let me first react, my reaction. When yes, I yes, please. Stood because we're all, you know, at the stock exchange, yes. we hosted the bankers, uh, the CIBN, mm. in, on the Monday, of course, they told us it's a series of programs they have and it will, be, it will, it will end up you know, in the dinners uh, mm. night. And yes, course, where, where the CBN yes. governor was a special guest. Yes, we were told I was going to be a special guest. And uh, if you recall, most stockbrokers are also bankers. Yes, very true. Yes, okay. However, well, I wouldn't want to say whether I'm a banker or not. Mm -hmm. I'm a stockbroker. Yes. So we're all excited to say, okay, this is an opportunity for the CBN governor who now come and clarify certain policy issues concerning the central bank and all that. And we're waiting mostly to hear what he's going to say concerning the postponement of um, their NPC meeting, meeting that was yeah. scheduled, you know, last week, last week. Monday and, and Tuesday that of last week. That was our main concern. And um, on getting to that dinner, of course, I didn't attend, but looking at the speech, because I went through that speech and I said, that, yes, this is good. The CBN government has been able to clarify mm. the issues surrounding that postponement. And if, if I even went further to refer us back to the CBN Act of 2020, 2020, uh, 2007, yeah, very yes, true. Okay. If they have four of that in the year, they have met a requirement. But again, I will not just agree on the percent with him. Mm. You're not just meeting just for the sake of meeting requirements. The NPC meeting is to really update the ordinary Nigerians what is going on in the economy. And, and, and we need to see some policy issues yes, yes, here and there. And yes, and, and to add to it very quickly and also to give some kind of signals to the foreign investors to know the stance of the monetary policy exactly. authority exactly. on macroeconomic issues, specifically, specifically. inflation. Exactly. You know, although the main function is price stability at yes. the same time to also advise the government. So it should be an ongoing issue, not yeah. just a one-off thing. I have met certain requirements, so we've had... Besides, he has not even a, a, a call for any APC meeting. Since he became CBN governor. The last one was done by the acting governor. Is Cardoso you know? actually <laughs> scared of addressing Nigerians no, and, the, he, and the business he, community? He's not. In his speech, he was able to and that's where, address the issue. Yes, this banking uh, consolidation is now coming. Yes, banking consolidation is not the solution to our problem. Mm. In 2005, thereabouts, where my namesake, Professor Charles Soludo, the current yeah. governor of Nambra State, yes. you know, came up with that concept and we saw how. It really impacted the banking sector. community. Mm. Yes, yeah, the banking sector. And then most of them thought our market, that's the stock market, will not be able to, you know, carry it. But at the end of the day, most of them, virtually all of them, came to the market to raise funds. And we saw how they became very, very strong. Mm. However, with time, we saw that some of these so-called big banks now, you know, after the consolidation, mm. we saw there were still issues. So we will now say, what is the impact of this consolidation? Yes. For me, and I'm very happy the CIBN president mentioned it, what is lacking now is issue of governance 
ethics. Mm. You can Corporate have, governance yes, ethics. Yes, yeah. ethics and governance. You can have very large banks with big capital base. But if the people, the human expert, the professionals are not running those institutions ethically, mm. following good corporate governance, those banks can still have issues. Yeah. Of course, we saw. After to do those consideration, we see sorts of banks that went Liquidate, down. Liquidate, yeah. You know, and CBR to intervene and all that. So, yes, it's a good development to say, yes, you want to reappraise and see. As an time, it was just $25 billion. Yes. And if you look at the current value, look at the exchange rates. Mm. What is $25 billion, you know, as at that time? What it is that, now, <laughs> it's, it's nothing. So it's nothing, me, yeah. So, for billion maybe like about $2.5 billion right mm, now, mm. you know, compared. So, it's a, it's a very good um, mm. policy. However, the CBN governor should consult all the stakeholders who have said in yes, that meeting. Yes. They are going to look at the, all the stakeholders who come yes. together and see what will be the new capital recovery. Exactly. exactly. Because, because, but I was going to put you on the hot seat, Charles, <laughs> yeah. and I'm going to ask you. Yes. We currently, we have $25 billion as, as, yes. as, as the current um, capital, um, capital requirement, requirement CRO. Mm -hmm. Now, if the central bank is to review that, what amount do you think that will get to? Okay, that's one question. And secondly, <laughs> do you think that new entrants into the, 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 the financial sector yeah. will be able to meet up to that requirement? We don't know that yet, but definitely we are just making projections um, and doing some kind of outlook ahead yeah. of the banking sector. Do you think we're going to have new um, entrants that are going to play very well in the financial sector and again and again permit me to <laughs> ask the third question yes once this lead once this recon um, um, um recapitalization leads to some kind of mergers amongst commercial um acquisition, um, acquisition yeah. and, and all of that yes. for those who will not have the the capacity to be to meet up to it your thought on this yeah, let me start with the last question good yes, for any recapitalization is expected there will be mergers and acquisition yes and the last one that happened you know even the authority was, was now saying, don't even say it's an acquisition, mm. it's a major. Mm. Because two banks come coming together, together, yeah. You know, of course, one that was doing very well or a bit better, mm. you know, in terms their name, they will still take their name while the round will just be consumed. Mm. We saw in so many of them. Yes. So for me, it's not going to be an acquisition, all right. It's going to be a, a merger all right. between two, two of banks. the players all right. to become. More, um, uh, more effective and in terms and of their yeah, branch network and, you know, yeah. of course, profitability. Banking, profitability. And banking is not a local thing now. Yes, it has, it has to, to go global. global. You know, I know that. So and and Access Bank is pushing that forward. I'm not supposed to say this, but that is the truth. Yes, they have shown skill, capacity, <laughs> when it comes to mm. acquiring other banks. Mm. You know, mm. of course, we saw them, the... Uh, Intercontinental, we also saw them. Yeah, they've, they've taken, yeah, they've also taken standard, the country, sta yeah, standard chartered bank exactly, as well in some Af country, African countries country. and even francophones exactly. as well. This is to increase their global reach. Yes. At the same time, take advantage of different financial system all over the world, world. and you know apply that to nigeria yeah and, and, and from, yes from and, and there's also this announcement that um, by the first quarter of next year 2024 they are going to be launching an asian operation exactly yeah, I saw that report too. yeah. so you can see that it's a day someone like you have mentioned in your mm. report mm. so the tier one banks are already ahead of yes the CBA yes consolidation. they're ready so to they're swallow exactly. those those small so banks that are struggling exactly it's also yeah an opportunity because i know they are still going to come to the stock market mm. so it's an opportunity again for new investors to take advantage and buy into these um, these banks. Yes. I was I said it made my point. Mm. It is not the size of the bank. It is how the bank is being managed, managed ethically and yeah. good corporate 